हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मधुरा बाय पॉपुलर डिमांड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक पनीर बिरयानी सो दर इज क्वाइट फ्यू स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वन थिंग वी नीड टू डू बिफोर हैंड इज टू मैरिनेट अ पनीर सो इन अ बोल आई हैव अ हाफ कप ऑफ योगट और कर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सीजन दिस अप विथ सम टर्मरिक पाउडर सो दिस इज क्वार्टर टी स्पून ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर अ टेबल स्पून ऑफ कोरिएंडर पाउडर अ टी स्पून ऑफ रेड चिली पाउडर हाफ टी स्पून बिरयानी मसाला सॉल्ट देन अ टेबल स्पून ऑफ कसूरी मेथी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेक दिस इन पाम्स एंड जस्ट क्रश इट टाइम सो इट रिलीज अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लेवर a tablespoon of fried onion mint leaves just going to tear them down and coriander leaves now mix this everything together really well once that's well combined next i have this uh, 250 grams of paneer that's been cut into small cubes just go ahead and mix this everything together really good and once this paneer is well coated with this marinade just cover this up and set this aside for 30 minutes now moving on let's make a masala for this paneer biryani so here uh, i have preheated 3 tablespoon of oil goes in half teaspoon of cumin seeds let them sizzle up and finely chopped onion mix that in and saute onions until it gets light golden color and over here onion has got this nice golden color now at this point of time add in finely chopped tomatoes along with rest of the spices a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste turmeric powder red chili powder coriander powder so this is tablespoon of coriander powder and a teaspoon of red chili powder two sliced green chilies salt mix that in and cook this for 2 to 3 more minutes Once the tomatoes are well cooked with onions, just go ahead and add in two tablespoons of yogurt, a teaspoon of biryani masala, coriander leaves, and mint leaves. Mix this in and cook for two more minutes. I'm also adding little bit of water, just two to three tablespoons is enough, and mix that in. so our this basic masala is ready now let's just keep this aside for some time and meanwhile we'll uh, make our rice ready so for the paneer biryani i already had gone ahead and washed the rice this is 1 and 1/2 cup of rice washed soaked in water for 30 minutes and then drained so over here i have 4 cups of water boiling now in this i'm going to go ahead and add in whole spices so first goes in few cinnamon sticks cardamom pods 3 to 4 cloves 3 to 4 black cardamom bay leaf and salt so this is 2 tablespoon of salt so it's really important to add a uh, salt while cooking rice because the flavor of salt has to go inside the grains of rice the salt goes in this washed and soaked rice and also add in a teaspoon of ghee it uh, keeps this uh, rice from sticking to each other now i'm going to cook this rice until it's 70% done this ghee helps to keep this rice sticking to each other and also adds wonderful flavor in this rice now uh, i'm going to cook this rice until it's 70% done and here i have cooked this rice for nearly about 7 to 8 minutes and let's take the rice grain 
look at this this is cooked but not completely cooked now let's just keep this aside and we'll go ahead and assemble this biryani so in this masala i'm just adding little bit of water from this uh, boiled rice just two to three tablespoon and then go ahead and put a layer of this cooked rice first awesome some more water this water prevents this biryani from sticking to the pan and then add in this marinated paneer so just spread that around and now again put a layer of this cooked rice again goes in mint leaves some coriander leaves you can also add some saffron water fried onion and cashew nuts fried cashew nuts I put the lid on After adding cashew nut, I'm going to add two to three teaspoon of ghee. This ghee adds this nice rich texture as well as taste in this biryani. It is optional; you can completely skip this out. Now put the lid on, and I'm going to cook this on medium heat for five minutes. After cooking this on medium heat for five minutes, I'm going to lower down the heat and cook this on lowest possible setting for next twenty minutes. So after 20 minutes of cooking just turn off the heat and give it a standing time of just 5 minutes after 5 minutes let's just go ahead and check this out wow it smells awesome let me just lovely and Let's take the bottom of this kadai. This doesn't stick to the bottom at all. It smells fabulous. You can serve this steaming hot biryani with some raita, with some salad on the side. I have a couple of raita recipes on the website. Uh, I will link them in the description box below. So do check them out. If you are watching my video for the first time and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe as well as the bell icon. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even you can copy the links and forward them on your WhatsApp. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.